and welcome to Waterside Fishing Adventures. I haven't been out for a little while, so welcome everyone. My name is Kyle. Uh, we're going to fish, I think, Patefield and Lowestoft today. I haven't done a video there, so I think we'll do that. But first of all, I'm going to have to go across to Galston and pick up some bait. So we'll get that done first. That's about an hour from my house. So I'll get that done then pick up some food and drink along the way and head my way from there to Patefield which is about half an hour so we've got an hour and a half before we can even get to our destination so I'll get all that sorted out and I'll bring you back when we get towards our destination okay sit back grab a hot drink bag of crisps a couple of biscuits whatever you want and enjoy the show hopefully we'll catch a few fish Gonna be after Whiten, Codlin, maybe a ray if we're lucky. We'll just see what's out there and have a good go. Forgot to say the time is now half twelve. Temperature is five degrees. Hopefully it's not gonna get much colder than that. But it's not really a problem. I've got my gear on, I've got my neck thing on today. I forgot what they called now. I've got me suit in the back, my boots thermal socks so it should all be good hopefully I haven't forgot anything get the old shelter up get set up we should be good at the moment we've got cloudy skies with a little bit of sun but obviously it's going to be dark around half fourth maybe five on the coast at the latest So I'm hoping to be set up by mm, half two, we'll be down on the beach by half two. Which will give us a couple of hours of light, we might catch a couple of fish in the daylight, might get a few flatties, which is tough to see. Right, I'm going to get on with this trip. Okay, so we're in Goulson now. Just popping into the local little Tesco's. Got the normal buttons <laughs> I always get. <laughs> Sausage roll. Orange juice. Got to be with the bits. Chicken bacon and lettuce sandwich. Yummy, yummy. And a bag of walkers. Right, let's go get some bait and get down to our fishing destination. Here we go, and there it is. Building right in front of us with the big fish on. Got our bait. That's a quick 60 quid spent. <laughs> Nothing unusual. Okay, so we're back up at the main roads and we're heading down towards last off. Let's get going, get our foot down and Get down to our fishing spot.
as well just take a quick wander first because I ain't been here for a while so I'm not sure, sure where the path is and stuff to get down and I want to take the trolley so I'll take you with me let's go and see what we got so I don't really get much better than this flat calm and no wind hardly the chap just down there fishing don't know if he's caught anything or not a long way away from where I am so we'll take a little walk around the corner here see what we can find work our way down and go from there oh there's plenty of people fishing look there's another one two three there's three people along there this is where I am So they're all fishing down that end and no one's down this end. Is there a reason for that? Not really sure. But I think I'm going to have a go down this end. Don't know why, I just like the look of it. I've just got to work out how to get down. I can see a path over there to take the trolley down now. It's going to be fun, but there we go. But it's looking nice. It's not going to be long before it gets dark, so we need to get on with what we're doing and get set up. So we just walked along the top of the cliff here and down this big hill. We now got to walk through here. Which is nothing to worry about. Looks like they're doing a load of work down the beach here. A load of diggers and stuff down there. Don't know what they're doing. Look how flat calm the sea is. I think we're going to go for this bay here. Let's try across in front of us. Don't know why, it just looks good. I think that's where we'll try. So we'll get the gear over there and we'll get set up. Okay, so we're in that car park up the top there, that cliff around the back there. Come all the way along the top there. Walk down the hill behind these bushes. Zigzag the ramp there. And as you can see, my trail's across the beach. Whew, not too bad. So there's all the gear sitting here. Time to get it unloaded and start getting set up. Not in too much of a hurry. There's a nice low tide at the moment. As you can see, the state of the water. Very, very calm, lovely. Should check up a few flounders, I would have thought. Get some whiting. Let's get some scent trails in the water. See what we can do. We've got four or five other fishermen down to our right right down there don't know why they're fishing that end and not this end but I fancy this end and I always hear that everyone says fish behind the huts uh, there's the huts well, it could be all the way along there to be honest but let's have a go you never know unless you try do you right so let's give it a go okay so I've got the pen rod set up Standard weight, you know, pulley, pulley bead set up. Basically, does that. If you get a fish, a decent fish, I'll pull it up away from the snags. So that's what I'm putting on the first rod. Large bottom hook, a bit smaller. Panel hook above it. Let's see how we get on with that. That's for the first rod. Gonna try a ragworm on our first cast to see what's out there. 
hopefully we can catch a couple of fish and beat the blank. I've got someone setting up the other side of me now as well. I'll show you around a bit. Well, I think I better show you around because it's getting dark already. Obviously got the pen right out the distance. Just trying to get a fish to save a blank at the moment. Now setting up the other rods. Shout was all up, gears down here. Measurer, food, light. Boots, bait, I'll show you through all the baits later on. And obviously my gear for filming and stuff. A load more stuff there. So I'll run you through all of some of that stuff when I get sorted. I've got me thermal socks on already. I've got me snood thing around my neck. To stop any wind and stuff like that. I've got my suit here, so I'll put my suit on in a minute. Got a chair here if I want to sit back. It's not very often I do that. And then we just get on with what I'm doing. So I thought I'd just show you what's what because it's probably going to be dark by the time I set these all up. So, get these done. And I'll come back and speak to you once I've got all four rods out there. Okay, so on the second rod. A little tiny snood at the top, medium sized one in the middle, and then a longer one down the bottom near the weight. And that's it, three hooks, tiny little hooks, one O's, six ounce weight, gonna be a close in rod with tiny baits on, probably little fish baits, maybe worms later on, we'll see what's about. Okay, so I've just made up another rig, two hook boom rig. It's basically swivel down to the booms, short snood at the top, and then at the bottom. Same sort of thing with a boom, but much, much longer snood on the bottom. Got cameras and 1 0 hooks. Which are basically these should do me the job and pick up a few small fish because that's going to be me close in rod right so i'm going to get all the other rods set up now i'll have another rod at medium range with single bait on probably and i'll get them all cast out i'll bring it back we'll get our suit and stuff on and we'll start fishing should have made these at home really but Got to do what we got to do. We didn't realise I didn't have so many made up. So we'll get them made up and get them out. Well, I've got three rods set up, so I'm going to put these out because by the time I've done the fourth one, it's going to be dark. So I'll let you see me put these out. Hopefully, we'll get a fish on the first cast. And then I'm going to put my suit and stuff on and get the last rods out. I've got rag on the three hook rod, I've got lug on the other two rods. Let's see what we can get. Toys dragging very hard to the right. We've also got a seal bumping up and down out there. Two 
Two out. Get this other one out, and then I'll turn your back off, get all my suit and stuff on, and get the other rods up. having to turn the rest around like that because the tide runs very powerful at the moment so it's pulling the rods so I do want to pull the lines into each other right so I'm going to get my suit on set up this final rod plonk it out around the other side of us and we'll start trying different baits and see what we can find try some different distances and stuff like that see where the fish are, see what's about. Give you a quick look around before it gets dark. It's over there where they've been doing a load of work. A noise you can hear in the background. I think they're now packing up. There's people fishing right down that end now but the people that were close to me have gone. Just about to see the first person in the distance there. And then there's a couple more. And then we got chap that's decided to set up in the next bay. Just there. So hopefully one or all of us will catch a few fish. Okay, so I've got my gear on. I'll show you what that is and explain where I'm from and stuff like that. Boots on, suit on top, hat, keep your head warm. So, my suit is avid carp gear, that's actually my carp fishing gear because my sea fishing suit is worn out and I haven't decided which one to buy yet. And when I wear this, I'm always nice and warm. Walking up and down the beach obviously keeps you warm as well. I've got my next shoal thing underneath here as well plus this is all padded and that keeps you warm keep your head warm with a hat all my cuffs are got these on them so no wind goes up your cuffs or nothing like that just keeps everything nice and tight same on my boots and around my legs they're all nice and tight got drawstrings on everything there's a hood zipped up in here in the back and pull over if i want to um i've got a tracksuit on underneath this and then some thermal socks and then a normal pair of socks and then me wellies so pretty much all i need for a night session like this it should be good right i'm going to set up this last rod hopefully we'll get a bite on one of the others while i'm doing that and we'll get our first fish okay and on the last rig it's got a nice long snood a bit of bling on the end and that's it no other hooks to weight down at the bottom. Single hook, I'm just gonna flick this out sort of medium range with a lug on it and pick up whatever's about. Right, so I'll get this one out as well. We'll watch the rods. I've been looking at the others, and it's in the bites yet. Hopefully it's gonna be dark in the next sort of 15 20 minutes. And we should start getting a few fish. Probably start with a few white and I would have thought. We'll see, let's see how it goes. So I'll go down, tap this one at medium distance. Okay, so that's the fourth rod out. We managed to get them all out before dark. It's not going to be long now.
state of the tyres still lovely. It's obviously on its way in. It's got about well, um, I'm trying to think. High tides at quarter eight. I mean they're coming up for four o'clock, so we're here and all set up and everything. All the rods are out. Not much is happening yet. See, it's absolutely flat calm. It's like a mirror. Absolutely lovely. Obviously, not much of a chop for catching a codling or something like that, but should be good for rays and stuff. Never know, might pull out a ray later on when the tide comes up a bit. I'm pretty sure as soon as it gets dark, we'll get some whiting. So. That's us sitting there all set up. Let's get some headlamps out and stuff. Have a drink and a few bits. Start catching some fish hopefully. Right. I'm going to get everything sorted in the shelter. Get all settled, ready to sit back and catch a few fish. Well, not much seemed to be happening on first cast. I haven't seen nothing happening on the rods yet. No nodding. Thought I'd at least get a whiting on one of them. Got a few dog walkers still walking past, but not very many people about. Just people fishing on either side of me, basically. Sea's lovely, as you can see. Moon's out. It's near enough pitch black, even though it doesn't look like it on the camera. So, I'll be rolling these rods in fairly soon, just to see what the bait situation is. And we can assess things from there. It'll be time to put a big bait on the long distance rod. Something like a squid mackerel, squid black, wrap or something like that, not sure yet. Just decide what to put on when I bring it in. And the others have got lug and rag on, so should really be picking up white or flatties or something. But tide's still not even halfway up yet, so I think we got it's half four. So we've got like three and a half hours. Three hours forty-five. To a high tide, so we're nearly halfway up. So that's normally when we start catching. So hopefully, on my next cast, I should get a few fish. Okay, so this is the bait we've got with us. We've got some rag, some lug, more rag, more lug, some mackerel, some squid. We've just made up a cocktail of squid and mackerel for the big rod. So it's ready to go out next time it comes in. We was just waiting for it to defrost a bit. It's now starting to get usable. Got some black lug here as well. 
still a bit frozen. It'll be all right later on. And then I've got my food and stuff, my power pack. It's going to be light up the top there. And the rods are out over there. Haven't seen any bites, doesn't mean I ain't had any. Because I've had me back to it while I've been doing this, so let's see how we get on. Bring these rods in for the first time, see if we've got any fish. first rod basically all bare hooks okay so I brought the first rod in got all bare hooks and a bit of weed on the top so I'll sort that out rebate it and hopefully we'll get a fish on this cast well I just brought the big rod in and Mr. Crab is on there. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> so every now and then I'm going to use him as bait there. Also, had a load of weed on there as well. So there's weed out there. Had some weed on the other rod as well, actually. So hopefully that will clear up as the tide comes up, but you never know. It's a bit cold. As you can see, temperature's dropped a lot. Probably only a couple of degrees. But, right, I'm going to get this rebated up, see what we can catch. Okay. Let's put that out. See if we can get a ray. One thing I did forget is the bloody towel, so I'm using newspaper at the moment. <laughs> a bit annoying. Oh, I just put that rod out. A chap came up to me, said, Hello, how you doing, Carl? <laughs> Someone just recognised me from the videos. So, again, <laughs> it's happening quite a lot lately, you know, near enough every time I go out. Or every other time at least. So it's starting to get a bit popular which is great. Also had a couple of people coming over to me just asking normal stuff and assuring the channel and got some new subscribers. So that's two subscribers and someone recognised me in the space of half an hour so that's quite cool. Right I'm gonna bring in the other two rods see if there's anything on them. I'm guessing they've got bare hooks and we'll rebate them and get them out. I noticed that the lug worm baits I put out a minute ago there's already a bite on that rod so I guess there's some whiting about it. right I'll get these other two rods in and rebated let's see how we go well, I just brought in another rod got a load of weed from the leader knot and also me top eye snapped in half and come off your rod never had that happen before I mean these rods I've had these probably five years now, which is why I bought me new ones on the last session. I think I'm going to have to replace these two as well. They're getting a bit past it, or, or do I have some eyes put on them? I think I'm going to upgrade them. But this rod might be out of action, because I've got no glue or tape or nothing with me to put it back on. And it's actually snapped on the metal part anyway. So probably not usable shame we'll have one go we'll tap it in close see if we can use it like that and go from there if not we're down to three rods well I've decided that other rods out of action put it in your way now though which is a bit of a pain but I brought in a whiten on the last rod I brought in also a load of weed which is lovely <laughs> You're done with that, all that. All right, so I'll get this whiting back. I'll nick a rig off the other rod, I think, so I've got two hooks on this rig, on this rod. We'll get them back out. There he goes, Mr. Whiting. Not a bad size. Not massive like the ones we've had before, but still a fish. And that's the blank gone. Well, as soon as it got dark, 
put out two lug rods and the smaller hook rods. And both rods have got a bite straight away. So we'll take it where white and hunting at the moment with them rods. And then we've got the big bait on the big rod. We'll see what we can get on that. See if we can get a ray or something like that or something bigger. Might be lucky and get a codlin. We'll have to see. Shame I broke your eye and have a rod, but not much I can do about that. I'll get it repaired. More than likely, or maybe. Well, not maybe. I think I'll replace both of them rods. Get some new rods and reels to the close in work. Well, it's all kicking off now. Some decent sized whiting coming in. Look at that. <laughs> Not bad at all. Pound, pound and a half fish probably. That's on the top hook. Ouch. Getting spiked by the old teeth. <laughs> Taking the baits right in. That's on the bottom hook. Two really decent whiting. I weren't expecting them straight away like that. Yeah. Not complaining. Nice big fish. Let's have a measure, shall we? I promise there'd be one I'd measure me fish. So that one is... That one is 33 centimetres. Been a bad fish, is it? And that one's 34. But not too bad at all. Good start. All right, let's get them back. See what else we can catch. Obviously, you can tell us pitch black now, but we've got our lights and we're doing what we can. I can't film like I did last time. The ring light I had before behind the camera where you are now. It snapped off the top of the thing, so I've actually got it up in the top of the shelter. Okay. Well, a couple of nice white in there. They were quite deep hooks, so I kept both of them. I'll have it for dinner tomorrow night. Nothing happening on the big rod yet. And the other two rods are out. Yep, they're banging away already. <laughs> so there's obviously a fair few whiting about. So I'll bring you back soon when we get some more fish. pitch black now. Moon's up, not too bright. Got a nice pattern on the sea. Hardly any waves whatsoever. Pretty much flat calm. It's quarter past five now. I think we're on fish number four, aren't we? Right. Let's get these rods 
reeled in again and see what we've got. Okay, so I just reeled that right in. It's only been out five minutes. And we have three white on it. On one rod. They're not the size of the ones we had before. Very lively. We've got that. It's not a bad fish. What else have we got here? Very lively. It's good though because these still go back well. Another one. Not so big that one. And then a little tiddly skinny thing. Look at <laughs> long but skinny as they. Right, I'm gonna put these three back, get rebated up, and get this rod back out. So I just brought another rod in. Have a decent sized whiten. Lovely. Measure her up, shall we? Thirty-two centimeters. They're very lively. And then a small one come in on the top hook, which is. Six centimeters. Alright, they're both going back anyway. So that's not a problem. Alright, I'll put these back because it's rebated. A bit of weed come in with that one. As you can see. But nothing ain't gonna pull off and be easy to sort out. So not too bad. The worm bait rods seem to be producing white and literally within two or three minutes. The big bait rod don't really seem to be doing much. But we'll keep refreshing that every half an hour and see if we can get something a bit bigger. Well, I ain't get five minutes to sit down. <laughs> as soon as I put the rods out there, literally within less than a minute, I'm getting bites off the old white and but trying to get some other stuff as well, so we'll keep carrying on. I think we've had over 10 fish already. Big rod don't seem to be doing much, but we'll keep baying it up with fresh bait, get a fresh scent out there, and hopefully we'll get something bigger. As for the night, it's a lovely night. Slight wind, and I mean a very slight wind, nothing to worry about. And the sea's flat calm, so couldn't ask for much better conditions. For me, anyway, not so much for the fishing. Could do being a bit rougher for the fishing. It's a bit damp, everything's getting a bit soaked. My hands are getting covered in sand, which is a bit annoying. But I can put up with that. Wish I'd have brought a towel though. I'd put them in the wash ready to go and forgot to get them out. There we go. That's one of those things, can't worry about. I'll get it ready for the next session. Right, so we'll spin around and see what these rods are doing. And we'll pick up things from there. I think that's half five now. So we're doing okay for seeing we've only had a couple of casts. Right, let's spin around and see what the rod tips are doing. Hopefully you'll see, got a bite on the orange tip rod. Don't know why they always stop when you put the camera on them, it's really annoying. Mm, big bait rod over there. It's sitting there doing its thing. Went and started to bend it over and give me a slack liner. At least the white are not taking the big bait. Usually when I put a big bait out like that, the white still go at it. Hopefully the crabs are not trying to get it. We'll see when we bring it 
in, it's probably all chewed up, hopefully not. And I'm pretty sure we'll bring in some more whiting on in. I'll put these two out quite a bit further this time, instead of close in. It's taken a bit longer to get a bite, but not a problem, because I don't see what else is out there apart from whiting. I know if I drop them in short, I can get whiting literally within 30 seconds. <laughs> so many out there. But I'd like to get some flatties or you know some other stuff. So we'll have a go at different distances and see what fish we can get. At what distances? Plenty of bait. Probably have some left over but we'll see how it goes. Just had a little thump on the white tip right then you probably saw. I'm not sure that was a white and white there more like the sort of thing a flat you'd do. But we'll see, I'll keep an eye on these. Next time I bring them in, I'll let you know what's happening. If we get any fish, and I'll update you in a bit. Still a lovely calm night. As you can see. Got three quarters of a moon. Doesn't seem to be too bright to be honest. I always find that the moon brings out the old white anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. It'd just be nice to get some other fish now and again. Mix up a little bit. Maybe a ray, some bass, some flatties. Just something different from a white. Not complaining, I've got dinner for tomorrow now. No point putting them back when they took the hooks like that. But to be honest, most of the time my white and the lip hooked. Not quite sure why them two took it down like that. Maybe it's because they're in competition with a lot of other fish or I'm not really sure. All the others have been lip hooked and most of the time they're lip hooked. So the temperature's only a few degrees, probably two or three at max. Quite cold on the old fingertips unless you put your hands in your pocket. And otherwise the body's nice and warm with all the gear on. Still got a chap down. You can just see him there in the distance. With his shirt all lit up and standing in front of it. And there's still some people behind me the other way. Again, as soon as I bring the camera to it, it stops again. Unbelievable. Right, I'll bring you back when I reel in. Okay, so just had a reel in. One whiting. Two whiting. The biggest one, three whiting. Fish. I reckon if I had four hooks on there, I'd probably have a fourth. So, all good. Get this rebated, get a bag out of it. Well, all 
three of them were undersized, so we didn't keep any of them. I'm gonna rebate up Put some lug again. And probably end up with some more weight. What we're waiting for is one of the bigger rods to go, aren't we? That's what we want. But it doesn't seem to be doing too much at the moment. We'll redo this rod, put it out. Then I might bring that rod in and refresh the bait on. As I said before, I've got a whole squid on there and a slab of mackerel on the side of it. And then put a free lug on this free hook flapper rod. Don't seem to be getting too much on rag at the moment. Normally rag does me quite well. Let me get through flatties on it. Let's see if we get on. They're going to put another juicy rag on the bottom hook. And then um, get it back out there. Got nice bits of rag like that. Nice juicy rag one. Just got to get something to take it. So it's a really calm night, so I'm not expecting any coddling really, but you never know. I've had it on nights like this before. So let's get it back out there. Hope for the best, get a few more fish. Must be coming up to about 15 fish now. Too bad for a couple of hours fishing. Let's see what else we get. We'll see you soon. So I just brought the other rod in. Half decent whiting on the bottom. Give this one a measure because it's a nice size. Let's see what it is, shall we? Three. 32 centimeters. A bit weird on the eye on this side of it. A little like it's blind, doesn't it? Got a weird eye, look. <laughs> still eating the worm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Whee, it's really lively. Right, I'm gonna get it back while it's still flipping around. And get this rod rebated and back out there again. Well, the two worm rods are already bang, 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 bang. But I just glimpsed over at the big rod, and that was banging as well. So hopefully, I've got something decent on it. Pumping pretty good just now. Let's just tighten up to it, I think. No, it ain't stuck behind me. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully, that's not a white. It's definitely something there, as you can see. Oh, a slack line on me again. Lovely. Let's hope it's a decent fish. Oh, nice bite. Right, I'm going to have to put you down and get this struck into. Well, I was bringing in the big rod. Bringing it in really careful, thinking I've got a nice big ray on. I brought this light in. <laughs> One, two, three, four fish. Another rig. A load of weed. And the right mess for me to sort out. Lovely. Well, that takes us to over 20 fish, I think. Some of these white in a decent size. But they're going back. Right, let's get this sorted out. Get these rods back out. Okay, so them fish were... White. 34 centimetres, not bad, quite a nice fish. He's going back. Next one is 33 centimetres. He's not alive, I don't think, so we'll be keeping him for dinner. Small pout, 23 centimetres. <laughs> a bit covered in sand. He's going back in a minute. And then one more whiten. 
31 centimeters. So yeah, we're getting a few nice fish. All right, let's stick these back. So about that big tangle I've got over there. Might have to just undo the traces and start again. But it's all part of the fun. Got you on a screw with there. Time must be half six now. We're doing okay. The tide will be up in the next couple of hours. Right, I'll get these back, get them rig sorted out and see what we can get. Okay, so let's try a nice big juicy lug bait and smashed right out, shall we? Instead of the old squid and stuff, just to see if that makes any difference. hooked up. Right, I'll get this out. I'll bring you back when we get some more bites. Go for it's going crazy. Let's see if I can get it on camera. There's the right hand one's going. Nice. And there the left hand one and the right hand one's going. About time I could get on film. Oh, I'll let them go a little bit so I can get two on one and three on the other hopefully. Maybe give them 10-15 minutes. Bring them in. Got the big rod out there. Big lug bait like I show you. Whack it right out. Don't seem to be getting white on that, so that's good news really. Hopefully a codling or something else will pick it up. All the whites seem to be quite close in. Once you go sort of medium distance and further, the bites take a lot longer. Come on, Mr. Codlin. Come on, Mr. Ray. Give us something good on the big rod. Or oh, we sit there playing with these rods. Definitely got fish on both of these rods. Still a lovely night, still hardly no wind. A bit misty maybe, foggy, whatever you want to call it. And obviously all the shell and everything's damp. That's pretty normal. Oh, nice bang on the orange rod. Probably fish number two on there now. Hopefully we'll get number three on there. We'll bring it in in a few minutes. A few people walking up and down the prom. Uh, not many people about really. Apart from the fishermen that are next to me. Quite surprised at the distance rod. It's not picking up white on the lug. It's not a big lug boat like that. Hopefully they're sitting there waiting for a codling or something else. A bit of luck anyway. The codling I've had so far this winter season have been out sort of 100, 100 to 150 yards. Been out on the distance rods, not close in. That's where I expect to get any others that I hope to catch over this winter as well. Tides well on its way up now, as you can see. It's quite close to us now. Not that close, I'm zoomed in. What have we got? It's getting a bit lower now. 
think it just died on me actually. Yeah, my light's just died on me. That's not good. <laughs> right, time to switch over to another headlamp. Good job I've got this light up here and all running this jump pack, it should last all night. Right, switch over to another headlamp. Let's see how we get on. Well, just bought a fish in on one of the rods. Another whiten. Not too bad size, give it a measure, shall we? Twenty nine centimeters. They're sizable, but this one's going back. We'll get this one rebated up. The other headlamps ran out, so I had to put this one on. Sorry to blind you. So I'll get this rod baited up and see what we can catch over the high tide. Hopefully, something a bit bigger on the big rod. Right, so I'm going to try a bit of that crab I caught earlier on on this rod. Just stick that out like that. A bit of lug above it. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll pick up something different. Never know. Got to try these things. Right, get this cast out. Okay, so I just made up a bait for the big rod. Want to bring it in? Half a squid with a head. I wrap a mackerel on the other side. I'm actually going to drop it short this time and see if I can get a bite down there because I'm not getting a bite I even with my lug at long distance with that rod. So let's try and find out what's going on and where these bigger fish are. Alright, let's get the rod in and get the bait changed over. Well, I just had hammer and bite on the big rod. Thought, yes, here we go. Codlin coming in. It turned out a bit of whiten. But it's not a teeny one. That. <laughs> Wee, very lively again. It is. Thirty nearly thirty-eight, I'd say thirty-seven centimeters. So not a bad fish. But we want a codlin or something a bit bigger, so we're gonna get a big bait back on this rod and get it back out there. This one can go back. I already had a couple from earlier. This one's nice and lively, so no problem putting it back. Okay, so I've just put a really nice juicy bait on here. Hard to show. All wrapped on. Squid, mackerel, black lug. Let's see what we can do with that. I'm actually going to try this. Uh, just a gentle tap distance, which is probably 50 60 yards on this rod, and see what if that produces anything there because there's nothing out of distance. So we'll get this one back out, see if we can get a bigger fish. Oh, that's back out. I've been getting a few messages on um, your Instagram asking about what I think of the new rod and reel got the new pen 15 foot 9 rod and the uh, surf blaster free reel the one that's just come out well to be fair so far i absolutely love them the rod's fairly stiff but you can still see bites easy and the reel's so smooth if you reel it just a few turns hard everything comes up to the surface and just skims in it's brilliant but i need to use them for a few months see how everything last on them see if anything breaks see so, you know, give them a good old run and then I'll ruin properly later on next year to how good I think they are compared to the money you pay for them. But so far, so good. And I'm probably going to buy another one and a reel to get a match from here going. Right, let's try and get some more fish. Still got people only now turning up. I'll take it, the high tide is good here. Let me check this. Set up right next to me in the next bay. We've got people that way as well. Chuck there as well, chuck this further down. Same the other way, chuck there, and some people around the corner as well. So hopefully things will be good bait wise and stuff. Seem to be doing really well. Still got plenty of lug and rag. Still got extra packs there. Loads of squid, loads of mackerel. And I've only used one of the blacks. So we've got plenty there. 
We've got a bag of white in here, the ones that didn't make it, so I think we've got four white in them there. So we've got good old dinner. I think I'm going to do a garlic butter and herbs with them for dinner tomorrow. Sounds good to me. Might have a little nibble of some of this stuff. The old Red Bull's keeping me going. Cheers, everyone. So, let's hope the old lights seem to be lasting there. Okay, I've got it on very dull settings, but that'll jump back down there. Even though it's really expensive to buy, it should last all night, no problem whatsoever, and still keep going. I wouldn't recommend buying one of them just for doing this. I've got it obviously because I run a garage and stuff and I use it for starting cars, but it's still ideal for doing what I'm doing as well. I think they're about £400 to buy. And, well, that light will last for ages. Probably last days. Right, I'm going to spin around. I'm going to watch these rods. See what's happening. A bit harder to show you the tips now with this headlamp. Because it's not as good as the one I had on earlier. Still waiting to get the Phoenix. I had ordered one, but for some reason that didn't turn up. Oh, that was a nice bite on camera, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what I like to see. It's got a crab on there as well. So hopefully we're picking up something better. And then the big bait rod's still out over here. Yeah, as I was saying, I've ordered the Phoenix and meant to have been delivered and I don't know what's going on there. Oh, the big bait rod is getting a good old from Now that's what we like to see. Let's hope that's not a white. Come on. Something decent. Swallow it down. Slack line me. Give me a good bend in the rod. Give me something decent to bring in. Big old bait on there as you saw. Half a squid. Big lump of mackerel. And a whole black plug above it wrapped up two hooks panel set up so got a good chance of hooking something big if that's taking it all oh, we just got slack lined that's what I like to see let's just tighten into it and see what's going on there yeah that was slack lined it's good news or it could also be a big white Hoping that's a ray or a codlin playing with it. And it's going to smash it any second. We'll see. And as for the other two. Well, as you know, they're bouncing away. Within a few minutes of putting them out. If I rode them in now, they'll probably be white on both rods. But we're more interested in this big one at the moment. Let's hope this goes smashing off we can bring in something big. Seem to have calmed down a bit now. But then if that's a ray or something like that, it can settle on top of the bait and it's got to chew it up and then move off. So we'll give it a little bit of time. See what it does. Hopefully that's gonna swallow it up and take it away. Alright, I'll put you back on the stand and I better keep an eye on this and hopefully I'll bring you a decent fishing. More and more people turning up all the time. I see lights all the way down the beach now. Right. Put you back on the stand. Well, I just bought one of the rods in. Got some more whiting. I actually thought one of them was codden. Quite a decent fish. Where is that codden? Yeah. <laughs> Got thingy then. 29 centimetres. Not too bad fish. They can go back obviously. And then this one on top. This one's got like a something on its tail like something took it. It's very fresh. It did have a good thump on that rod. There's that one, it's a skinny old thing. But it's still 30 centimetres. Yeah, it looked like um, on its tail, I don't know if you can see that yet. Pretty fresh. I think something grabbed that. 
the rod went absolutely bang and I thought oh yeah Codlin I'm pretty sure something's took that there's like teeth marks further up and stuff as well so I reckon something grabbed hold of that shame that didn't hook itself but it's not going on these little teeny hooks right so things are looking good still got the big baits out the other rods are bouncing around like mad time is now half seven so we're pretty close to high tide and we'll see what happens now see as the tide slackens off and goes back down again we'll see what happens Literally just dropped this orange rod out. That's just that was absolutely thumping away just now. Put it a bit further this time. Probably 70, 80 yards. You can probably see it's still going. A little tap, nothing like I was doing a minute ago. Bang, 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 bang. Pump them really hard. Hence why I went and got the camera. This white one's gone a bit quiet now. Got a bit of fish on there. You can see the orange one's still going. Nothing like it was a minute ago. There we go, look at that. Got a free lug on there. Quite nice big juicy ones. Yeah, that's a good old bang, isn't it? Way now that was what you call a boy. <laughs> Hopefully that's something fairly decent. Whiting don't normally pull a rod right down like that, so bit of like something quite a bit bigger. So I've that with three really decent wine I've took each hook and they give it a right whack. Not very often you see your rod bend down like that. There's a dog ear or it's picked up. I'll let it go just a little bit more, just in case. That is a ray, they take a little while to chew it up and then just swallow the bait. As for this white one, that's kind of a bit quiet. There's probably a fish on there. And the big rod. That's quiet and right down as well. So I think we need to put them back out of distance. Because that's where the fish seem to be. We are slightly up with the time a little while ago. It's just gone seven now, so it's half an hour out. We've got about an hour to high tide. So hopefully we should get some decent fish between now and high tide, and, or just over. Slack water might produce a ray. You never can tell, you just gotta keep fishing it. You say people are now turning up, so it's obviously a good time to fish this beach. I'm not really sure what the best times are to fish here. Definitely have a good go as I am now. Still got plenty of bait. No wondering what's on that rod. Do I go and strike it? Do I wait a little bit longer? Do I bring this white one in and sort that out first because that's gone quiet? No, it's still biting on that other rod. I think I'm going to bring it in just in case. Right, I'll put you down, I'll bring you back once we bring it in and find out what it is. Well, believe it or not, them big bangs were whitened. I thumped it over, but they're not small. I'll show you the smallest to bigger. Get them unhooked. All right, this one is 31 centimeters. Not a bad fish. This 
one's even bigger. Three centimeters. You can see it's fairly chunky fish as well. Quite a decent weight to that one. And then we need the big one to last. Looks like I've done it again. Seem to be getting these big old white in there. Whoa ho ho! Quite happy with that. Nine centimeters and chunky. Get him in the frame. There's that for a nice chunky white. Don't mind a few of them. It's sort of like we were getting before. The, the ones I had before were even bigger than that. Shame I can't get a decent bit of light on that so I can show it properly. But you can get the idea, it's a nice big fish. Hopefully we'll get a few more of them throughout the session. Durden, 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 durden. Ah! <laughs> Not sure it's still alive. I don't know, I think it's okay actually. Yeah, it's okay. Right, we'll put her back in. That's okay. Not a bad fish though. I'm glad to be getting some bigger ones. So here's all three together. You see how much bigger that one is in the middle and the one at the bottom. All right, let's get them back. It's starting to get a bit foggy now. As you can see the cars up in the old car park on top of the cliff there. See their light beams and see how foggy it is. We'll cover my light up then. <laughs> All part of the fun there, don't bother me. Right. These um these two rods have just gone back out. As you can see the orange tip rod's already got a bite. We've got a lug on the orange tip rod got a big lug and a bit of squid on the white tip and then a bit of squid on top of it. They're fishing at about, Whee, look at that. That's the trouble with some of these decent white and they're all grabbing at it and they're slack lining me. See, both of them rods going. Quite good, you can actually see them for a change. The orange tip one going. Gonna calm down now, said it. <laughs> don't know what's going on with the big baits tonight, I don't seem to be able to even get a whiting on them. Yeah, I'm gonna break into the big bait rod in a sec. Give it a recast. Cast it on no 50, 60 yards, run it close in. It'll whack it back out again, I think. Nice place on your orange tip right there. So, how many fish we've had now? Well over 30. I actually had a, another couple of fish on one of the rods but I didn't manage to push record so I didn't get them on camera even though I sat there talking to the camera and that wasn't even recording <laughs> there we go yeah I'm going to bring this one in I think and 
smack it right back out there because it's not doing nothing where it is. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it up there. You can see how misty it is. I see how the light's up there. It's quite smart actually, don't it? A bit of fogging gonna hurt. Don't mind that. It's all part of the fun. Right. Decide which one to bring in next. I can get five minutes to sit down, which is a bit annoying. But we're here to fish and catch some fish, and that's what we're doing. Absolutely, loads of cars, loads of cars come up into the old car park and putting their main beams on, looking out to sea in the fog. It's quite smart, to be honest. I'll leave a few photos after this to show what they're looking at. <laughs> Chap next to me is still bringing in some fish, white and same as me, from what I can see. Quite smart down here in the fog. I like it when it's like this. It's not cold at all, there's a little bit of wind now, but I'm talking 5 or 6 mile an hour at the most. You can see the old smoke coming out of the factory there, look. you can see us just puffing to the left of us slightly. Tap's still down here next to me, seeing him going up and down, so I take it his plan with white as well. But anyway, let's get back to what we were doing. We've still got loads of bait. As you can see, loads of mackerel, loads of squid. Getting a little bit low on the lug now and the rag. Still got loads of blacks and we've still got a pack of each rag and lug. So we've probably got enough for another trip, I reckon. We'll keep going tonight, see how we get on and get. I'm quite happy to carry on for a few more hours yet. My phone just told me I'm getting a low battery, so I'm gonna whack you on charge for a little bit. Right. Right. I'm going to send this out on the big rod. Got four lug, squid's head, and then another tiny lug just underneath the squid's head. Nice big chunky bait, not wrapped up. We'll whack it out at distance. See what we can get. Hopefully, we can get a bite. We don't seem to be getting much on this big rod. But it's not much I can do about it. We just got to do what we can do. Right. Okay. Get this cast out. I'll bring you back in a bit once we're out there fishing again. Well, all that bloody effort, and I snapped on the cast it out because I tried to absolutely whack it. My own fault. I think I was right from the tip of my rod or something like that. But there we go. Hopefully, I'll reel it back in with one of my other rods. Might set up another rig for it. Let's see what's happening. It's getting really, really foggy now. You can hardly see people next to me. The whole beach is absolutely. Well, <laughs> you can hardly see the lights and stuff. Pretty smart. Look, quite bad. <laughs> I'll spin you around and show you them lights I showed you earlier. And they're pretty much covered up. <laughs> they're the lights I showed you earlier. You can only go five down now and you can't see anymore. Whereas they go all the way down the beach. <laughs> so you can't even see the chap next to me anymore though. And he's only in the next bay. People up the car park where you can see the beam of the lights. The chap's there next to me, you can just about see his light. Just see my gear. Not doing too well on the light side of things. Yeah. Next head damp's gone dead now as well. So I think I'm 
come out of headlamps. Just over the light on my packs now, last longer or long enough. Carry on filming to finish this session off. Bit of a pain to reel in, not see what I'm reeling in, but there we go. Gonna have to make sure I get two or three lamps so they last the length of my sessions that I do. Right. I'm gonna put this phone back on charge because it's gonna go flat. And I'll bring it back when I get some more fish. So you keep asking me to review stuff and whatever. Well here's one I'm not too impressed with. It's this light. The second light I started using the headlamp. Been on charge all night. It's brand new. And that probably lasted about an hour. So I don't recommend buying them. Just an eBay jobby. Looks cool, but doesn't do the job. It's not got a make or anything on it. But they come up when you look for lamps on eBay. No, I don't recommend that one. So there you go, there's my first non-recommendation. <laughs> my other big one probably lasted four hours or so, which is pretty good for a massive light like that. But it's no good really, I'm gonna need I don't know, four different lamps probably to do a session. This isn't no good. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Obviously the light in the shelter is working okay. And if that was on the stand, that would light up everything else as well, but I might move it in a minute and just do it so I can light up some other stuff with it. But we'll see. Right, I'm going to try and keep an eye on these rods. I can charge that lamp up if I want to, but hardly worth charging to last a few minutes. So, just keep an eye on the rods, see if we can get a few more fish. And we'll go from there. Don't think the dam's helping with anything. Fogs, I don't know if that's causing things to go flat quicker or... Don't really know. It's really foggy. <laughs> Part of the fun now, isn't it? It's high tide now. So we'll see if we get any fish. We'll see if it goes slack on slack water. Don't really know. We'll find out. Right, I'm gonna let my phone charge up a bit more. Have a couple of casts and I'll bring you back soon once I've got some charge in my phone again. So I've had a couple more casts, had some more whiting. I've just brought this right in as well and um, I've got three on this one. All different sizes. There's one. Not very big. 24 centimetres. See what the next one is, shall we? Struggling a bit now with light wires. I've got no light, no headlamps. I've only got me light inside my shelter. I need that in there to see the bait up and stuff. This one is 29 centimeters. Bit better fish. Fairly chunky this one as well. It's going back as well. And then this one's even bigger. It's nice to get through to a few of the bigger ones. Shame we're down to two rods now. And they're only worm rods. But you never know what's going to come in on them. Oh, this one's swallowed up right down. This one ain't going to make it. Fog's absolutely crazy, you can hardly see anything now. Oh, Jesus. Right down that one. Fish. 33 centimeters. Better fish in it. Still not massive like some of the others, but still not a bad fish. Good. Still breathing. Right, let's get these back. And get this rod back out. We're just on the worm rods at the moment. Don't know if I'm going to make up another trace and put the big bait rod out again. We'll just save the bait and do another trip. Right, I'm going to rebait this and get it out. Let this phone keep charging. Well, 
Had some more white and had the, the phone charge up half an hour or so. Probably had another, probably around 10. Here's another one. Quite a decent fish. Chunky fish. Give it a measure. 33 centimeters. Not too bad, is it? Nice colors on that, though. Nice to get a chunky one like that. Better than them skinny old things that we get. Right, put this one back, see if we can get some more. Still on the two rods. I haven't really reset up the other rod yet. I've got the headlamp charging on me charge pack down there, so hopefully that'll charge up just enough for me to use it for as much time as I need to. Right, put this one back, have a few more casts. Still really foggy. Now I can see the lights on the beach behind us now. Still plenty of cars coming up and putting their beam across into the water. Got people next to me still. Chap to the right is gone. Still people further up and there's plenty of people down to the left. Right, hopefully everyone's catching like I am. Shame we ain't had a cod or a ray or something yet, but at least we're catching some fish. Well, bites are really not slowing down. Basically, as soon as I hit the water, by the time I put it back on a rest and stood back near the shelter, I'm getting bites. Obviously, they're only white in most of them, but at least we're getting some fish. The old headlamps seem to be charging up. It's strange how they don't last very long. That one I showed you and said it weren't very good. I only had it on half setting, and that still only lasted about an hour. That ain't much good, really, is it? Like I said before, I think I'm going to get a um, Top of the Range Phoenix and I'll probably get an LED lens as well. And hopefully they'll see me through the night for reeling in and churn rods and stuff like that. Obviously this light is doing me well and this light will last all night, no problem. Missing having the Tilly amps on the ground here though. I like the atmosphere of, and the way it lights up everything. But we've got to do what we've got to do. We're out of fishing. We've got to deal with the situation we've got now. So, I've had easily 50 white in now, because I keep bringing in freeze, but I can't keep turning them on the phone at the moment because it's not staying charged long enough. I keep doing like 10 minute blocks of charging up and then I keep using it again, which is killing it again. So I'll let it charge up for a little while again and I'll start bringing some fish back to the camera. Still got a few lug left out of the first wrap, and a whole pack still, and a few rag. Plenty of blacks, squid, mackerel, so we've got loads of bait. So we'll probably do another trip, even tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I'm starting to have a bag now at the moment, chest, but it's part of fishing. Right. So I'm going to play in this fog for a bit longer. And see if we can get a few more fish. I know both rods have got bites on them. They're going absolutely crazy, but I can't show you at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. I'll bring some fish back to camera fairly soon. I think the time is around half eight now. So, tide's up. And doing the hour where it changes and start to go down. Right, so I'll see you in a bit with a few more fish. And we'll see how much longer we're gonna fish for. I think we'll still keep going as yet. It's not late yet. And then we do a lot longer than this, so we'll carry on until at least using up these two first packs of worms. And then we'll work out things from there. Time is now half eight. Got a little bit of wind coming down the beach now. Which way is it going? Sort of a northeasterly wind. It's not much, it's probably seven, eight mile an hour, something like that. A bit annoying, a bit nibby, but I'm all right in the old gear. Certainly not cold. Just do the old snap up. You know, the old hands are a bit annoying, they can get covered in sand, and I ain't got my towel, but otherwise, that headlamp is actually nearly charged up. It's only been on there about half an hour, so that's pretty good going. Hopefully that'll 
last me out for a little bit longer. Not knowing how long the old power pack will last. When I push the light to see how much power it's got left, it's still saying full power, so it's got plenty of power in it left. And I've charged my phone, charged me headlamps, done all sorts on it, so it's doing a good job. And it's also got this light going, so that's awesome. Right, both rods are banging away like mad, but I can't show you. But I can bring in some fish and show you them once they're in, because my phone's getting charged again now. So I can keep showing a few more fish. Okay, so the old head damps charged up again, so I can show you the rods again now. And this is basically what we're dealing with. It's pretty foggy, but if I come close enough like this, you can still see. light so it's got seven lights on it I'm using four trust them to stop now I'm trying to show you unreal both eyes are just banging around They've probably got a couple of fish on one or three on the other but now they just stop <laughs> the orange one just went but nothing like that had been going Okay, we'll turn away from them and I'll show you about a bit. I know you can't really see the sea much because it's obviously very foggy. You can see it's still flat calm. It's all looking nice. Still got a chap next to me, still up and down the beach, so I take it it's still getting white and stuff. Still got people up in the car park. You can see how foggy that is now because you uh, can't even see what they are. <laughs> People are loving it, there's loads of people coming to have a look. The factory and stuff behind us is all lit up like a ghost building. And I think we can see the first five lights along the prom up there. But there's about 30 of them all the way along there, but it's so foggy you can't see any further. Still haven't put the big rod back in yet. Decided to just keep it out just to see if I reel in that rig on the end of these rods you can see the old white rod going there Wait, hey, nice bite and on camera, that's what I like to see yeah, there's definitely something there what about the other one? It's cold on the old hands holding the camera up, I guess, over here in this fog. Lovely. Right, we're going to bring these in, see what we've got on the end. That's what we've got bait wise at the moment. If you're wondering how I'm charging, I'm using the Connections, I guess. I've got a fast power one here, which is the green one, and then a normal charging one on top. And the power pack still saying fully charged there. You can see all the lights. Got the LED ring up there, controlled by this. Turns the brightness up and down and on and off, different color lights and all that sort of stuff. Got different charging ports for different things. This is a high power one, really fast charger. Right, I'm going to plug this back into my phone. Carry on charging up, bring the rods in, see what we got. Well, I've done it again. They're going to start calling me the white man soon. We'll measure it up first. Oh, this was a cod. 39 centimetres. Look yeah, at that chunky beast. Lovely fish. That must be a good pound and a half. You see how chunky that is, look at the belly on it. It's still nice and lively so I'm going to put it back, I won't keep it. That came on a small single lug. Right, I'm going to get it back out while these big chunky things are about. And you never know, one of them might be a codlin. <laughs> So 
there, just brought another rod in. Still getting whitened. Lip hook it in, which is good. 29 centimeters. Fairly chunky fish. That's a lively so it's going back. And then what we got on the top here. Yeah. Twenty-eight centimeters. Again. Not so lively that one. Got some funny old marks on this one. I don't know if you can see that on top of his head it's got like I don't know what they are. Like gross. Not looking too nice. Fishing alright, but it's got more down the side and that as well. See him on its belly there? Not really, can you? Covered in sand, but got like little lumps all on it. Not quite sure what they are. But they're going back anyway, so it don't really matter. Right, if anyone knows what that is, let me know in the comments. Alright, I'm going to put these back. See what we can do. Still nice and foggy. <laughs> Still cold. But we're doing alright. Well, that headlamp was just charged up for half an hour. Lasted about 10 15 minutes. Let's fly again. I'm gonna put it on charge again because obviously, gonna need it to want to walk to the car unless I use this big lamp. We'll see. I'll wait something now. I'll walk across the dark beach and end up a lane. Obviously, need to see what I'm doing. I ain't ready to pack up yet, though. I'm still gonna carry on for a while yet. So, let's keep fishing. We've had over 50 fish easily, probably coming up to 60. And some of the whiting have been quite decent sized ones again. Which is nice, I'm doing quite well this year to get some bigger whiting. I have got a little bit of an edge, which I haven't shown anyone yet, but I'm going to tell you. I've got a dip, or a dip of worms in before I cast out. And I haven't been showing it because I've been trialling it this year. I used it last year and done quite well. I've added some extras to it this year and that's producing some fish. Obviously no codling or raise yet, but producing some bigger white. So it's basically an oil based dip and it's got like crab extract, lugworm juices, mackerel juices, squid juices, all sorts of stuff all mixed in it. And some extras that you wouldn't even think about putting in there. It's definitely working. And sorting out the smaller white to the bigger white. Um, I may start bottling it and sell off a few bottles, or maybe even give some away and let some other people try them and see how they get on in their local marks. I think what I might have to do is just cover the post and I'll give some away and let you see how you get on. We'll work something out and I'll finalise that and maybe I'll list them on the eBay site or something like that and you can buy them on there. I'll do the item for like a penny and then just charge the post. Obviously something like this normally would sell quite easily for 12 99 14 99 but I'd like to give back to my subscribers and stuff. So I think this is my way of giving back. I think we're here sort of we're over 500 now, so thanks for all them people that have subscribed so far. I think we're in our seventh week now, which is not bad at all really, is it? Hopefully by after Christmas we'll be over the thousand mark and I'll be able to go live a few times. So, this is just a way of being able to give back a little bit to the people that have subscribed to the channel. Right, I'll show you what it's like in another video. I've got many different versions. Um, not quite sure how it'll work out, but I'll, I'll sort something out and I'll finalise it and let you all know. And then I'll just leave a link in the description so you can go and find it if you'd like to try it. Right, I'm going to charge this lamp up again. I'm going to have a few more casts on the rods. See what we can bring in. If we can't bring in something like a rare or a codlin or something like that, then hopefully we'll just bring in some big white like we have been. Not little teeny skinny little things. 
Right, let's carry on then, see what else we can get. Still got people either side of me, so it's obviously a good time to fish here. Just, I think the, the thing is, the, the sea's so calm, it's not really coddy weather or bassy weather or anything like that, it's just flat calm. As far as I can get a load of flounders, to be honest, but they're just obviously not here. Right, I'm going to have a few more casts. I'll bring some fish back, hopefully, to camera in the next half an hour. And we'll make a decision on what we're doing from there. I'll show you how much bait we got left once we had a few more casts. And we'll go from there. Okay, so it's nine o'clock. I tried really close in with some little rag baits. So me top two hooks are right off the bottom and up in the water. And ended up with a little teeny white. <laughs> Not some pattern like I was trying to get, but there you go. I was only out there for a few minutes and Rob was banging away. Um, we'll keep trying. Not quite sure where we're going to stay till, but tide's on its way down now. You can see the difference. Um, so let's have a few more casts and see what produces. Still got a bloke to the left and some people further down. I think I can just see light. Still plenty of people in the car park. Got the old lights across. I can see four lights down on the prom now. So the fog's pretty. Well, basically covering a lot of stuff. As you can see, I still can't really show. Pretty cold. Hell, breath is getting thingy. Right, I'm gonna put this one back, cast back out, and see what else we can get. I'm gonna spin you around and show you how wet my seat is. It's so wet, I don't even want to sit on it. <laughs> Absolutely drenched. Right through. If I do that with my hand, look how wet my hand is. So that's useless. If you look at the back, you can see it's still dry. So I obviously ain't going to sit on that. <laughs> right, bait wise, I've got a handful of lug. Obviously, we've still got a whole packet over there, but um, on the 10 15 rag. So we'll get through these, see how we're getting on after that. We've still got eight big blacks left and another whole pack of rag. Got plenty of mackerel, plenty of squid, and I've still got stuff to eat. And the old Red Bull, no, Red Bull's gone. Time to drink the old pure orange juice with the bits in it. They've got the old buttons, they've got some crisps. Not too hungry to be honest, so I'm not worried about it too much. So I've got the lamp up there on charge again. I'll charge it right up again, that'll probably give me 15 minutes, but it's better than not having one, isn't it? Right, so. I'm going to keep an eye on his rods, see what else we can get. I think I'm going to put some black lug on the next cast, see what that turns up. Might even put a bit of squid out, a bit of mackerel out, might just change it up a little bit, see if it changes anything. But I doubt it, I would say worms are probably the better baits. Right. Don't know if you're about to see. Yeah, you can still see us nice and foggy. It's hard to show. But Still loads of people in the car park keep pulling up and shining their lights across. Still got the chap next to me. There's people further down past him. I think the chap next to me on the left is packed up now. And there's someone a long, long way. Well, it's a long way. Yeah, quite a long way down the beach. And I just keep seeing them go up and down now and again with a headlamp. But they haven't got a beach lamp on those things. As you can see by the lights up there, oh no, we can see the one, two, three, four, five. You can see six, seven lights there, so the fog should be clearing a little bit then. So we can see more lights now. So that's good. Not too bothered there. I quite like it, I guess. It's all spooky and I like fishing in harsh conditions when it's all different like this. Can't really see you down in the water, the moons. Not really putting the reflection on the water because of the fog, so that's pretty useless. But it's good in our ways because it makes it nice and dark. If I try and show you the rods, pretty much I can show you the base, but showing you the tips, not a chance. But I'll bring you back once the old headlamp's charged up again. Show you some more bites if we get some more fish, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure we will. I'm not quite sure where we are now, but I think we're on 64 fish. Somewhere like that, maybe 66. I know we've had quite a few, so I'm not complaining. Just a shame we didn't have some 
other fish as well as whiting and pouting. But we ain't done yet, we've got some more casts here to go. This should keep us going for at least the next hour. And then we'll assess things from there. Okay, just had a reel in. Another whiting. Not massive, but still another fish. Look at the big eyes on that old thing. <laughs> massive. I don't know why they're so big. <laughs> still what she measures, are we? Twenty-nine centimeters, so not teeny, but not massive. Just in size, really, isn't it? Right, put it back. We'll have a couple more casts. See what else we can pick up. I'll we'll stop for a little bit and just add a couple of bags of crisps and a drink. Had a little look around in the fog. I'm still charging the old lamp, so I can see a bit better in a little bit. Tide's on its way down, as you know. So let's see if we can still get bites. I've got to say, you've got a um, nasty wind now coming from behind us, northeasterly. It's a bloody cold wind as well, which is not nice. It's not mega mile an hour, but I'll be 10, 8, 10 mile an hour, maybe 12. It's just a chilly wind that's a bit cold. Only because I've got wet hands, I think, but not up and down the beach as much like I was before. So I'll get a few more casts in again. That's the good thing about having four rods, you're always up and down the beach, it keeps you warm. But, you know, North Eastleys are always cold, aren't they? Right, sorry I'm not looking at the camera, I'm baiting up at the same time as talking to you. Okay, so I'll get some more lug on this one, on this rod. Just sort of using up these first packs of bait now really probably gonna fish till maybe 11 12 o'clock something like that getting a bit naked now for some reason not as in tired as in got back aching stuff which I could do without but it's all part of doing what we're doing right I'm gonna put these little lug out then you got some little worms like this at the moment, at the moment, and just popping them out, see if we can get a few more fish. I suppose we can add a dogfish or nothing like that. But, not at the moment. Really missing my towel. I'm using the newspaper on that to scrub my hands at the moment, but they're all covered in sand and it's just getting everywhere, it's really annoying. <laughs> the fog seems to have lifted a little bit now, we can see the lights all the way down the beach. I'll spin you around and quickly show you that. We'll get this one cast out. So yeah, you can see what I mean. You can see the lights all the way down the beach now. As uh, compared to earlier on when we could only see the first five lamps, remember? So you can imagine how foggy it was. It's lifted quite a bit. Still got some fog coming across. And there's obviously got that wind I said about. No one up in the car park anymore now. Showing their lights onto the sea. Still got the chap sitting next to me. He seemed to be up and down still, so he's obviously catching a few fish. We've got no one this way now. Got one right out there, which I'm about to bring in. And now we're going to cast this one out. Got a handful of lug, literally enough for probably um, one more cast. And I've probably got enough rag for two or three more casts. And obviously got loads of mackerel and squid left and a whole pack of each worm still. So I reckon we'll be out again tomorrow. Might do a day session somewhere tomorrow, so I ain't got to charge everything up and worry about lights and all that sort of stuff. But we'll see. Right, let's carry on with this trip anyway and see if we can get a few more fish before we decide to pack up. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock now. Seven number rail in. Add that one. Long skinny one. 29 centimeters. And then this one was on the top all tangled up which is clearly not going to make it we be taking that one home which is 31 centimeters all right i'm going to put that one back it should make it and then we'll um get that rod back out there we've still got a bit of bait we're still going to go for another hour or so 
I'd like to see where this oil fish is on us sort of halfway down. See if it's any better than the bigger fish. We ain't gonna find out unless we do it. Right, I'll put this fish back, get rebaited up, get it back out there. Here we go. Oh, that wind's picking up a bit now. That's really chilly, that wind. It's annoying. <laughs> on the old hands, when they're wet. And we went from the fog clearing to major fog. <laughs> Look at that. Can't even see the blue. Let's go to our lights and we can gauge it. One, two, three. That's it, we can see three lights now. We have about 30 lights. So you can imagine how thick that is. Sort of seen a rod rest in the distance there. It's pretty cold, pretty damp, but we're still fishing. We've still got enough for a few more casts. I'm not going to open the other worms now. I'm going to save them for another trip. We've got plenty of mackerel, plenty of squid. Still got the old headlamp on charge there. Yeah. I'm going to want that for when I wander back up to the car. Pack up at some point. Hopefully, that wind's not causing too much hassle on the camera. It's pretty cold on my hands, I know that. On my face. But we're here and we're going to carry on fishing until we want to go home. Oh, it's definitely really chilly with that wind. This is when you want, or no, this is when it makes you wish that you got the utility lamps because you can just bring them over to the shelter, get you nice and warm run your hands over the top of them. It's only my face and hands, but that's still enough to be annoying, isn't it? I'll just spin you around and show you what the inside of my shell will look like. You get an idea of how wet and damp it is, as well as the cold wind. So basically that's what the inside of the shell was looking like. It's absolutely soaked, as you can see. Literally dripping with water. Not too nice. <laughs> But I could still get in there with a couple of lamps for 10 minutes and that would warm me up lovely. Uh, there we go, we got all we got. We deal with the situations we got. I'm probably going to fish now for probably another hour. And then it's going to be behind the pack up anyway. We'll be halfway down the tide. We'll give it a good old go. So we'll see how we get on. Them lights over there are disappearing now. See three. Very slightly see the fourth one. As for anything down that way, towards the pier and stuff, can't see a thing. <laughs> Chap is still here. Car park's up there somewhere. See a street light in the distance. Gonna be a fun old walk. Chap next to me still going up and down, getting a few fish for lots of things. Getting a few white, same as me. Don't think anyone's had any cod or rays. But you got to be in it to win it, so you got to keep trying. Right, I'm going to get my hands in my pocket for a little while and try and warm up. On the old hands, watch the rods and see what they're doing. Well, that wind's picking right up now. You can probably hear on the camera. It's really annoying. It's a bloody cold wind as well. Oh. The old fog is really coming through now. And also, I'm just going to show you the tips. The white seem to have dried up as well. I don't know what's going on there. White the just seem to have moved off. I certainly weren't expecting. The tide's on its way down now. You can see the water's quite away from us now. It's quite hard to show you in it really, but. Down a fair bit, just about see the water down there. Seriously foggy, as you can probably see in the cracked off over here a couple of hours ago, didn't I? It'd be nice if your gear's sitting there, but I doubt it. Tide. 
don't normally, I do they normally just sit there. Hope there's not a fish on it. Got caught. I'm pretty sure I can't see it. God, that wind is freezing. You've got the North East here that's blurred into your hand, your face, right into your face. It's not nice. Walk down the beach a bit now, you can see three of the lamps, but you can see nothing soon. It's absolutely covering the whole area. <laughs> Different, I suppose. Spooky for Halloween, but that's past now. Don't know how long this lamp's gonna last this time. I'm quite impressed with the old jump pack in there though, but then that should last a long, long time. Been on oh, uh, four, five, six, over six hours now. Still going well. I don't know where to white and whatever I've gone. I don't know if I need to drop them really short or whack them right out. Either way, there's no fish here at the moment. Oh, that's not a light. The white, the white rod just went. Oh, it's absolutely ice on my hands. Whew. My body's lovely and warm. My feet are good. It's just my fingertips and my face. Yeah, I think we've got a fish on the white rod. Oh no, I don't think we definitely... Whoa, hey, look at that. <laughs> it's definitely a fish on that rod. The other rod doesn't seem to be doing too much. Oh, that's good. Nice to see that bounce up and down like that. Probably only a whiten. You lost to get something different, but. We've had some pounding as well. It's probably been any doggies. Or flatfish, to be honest. Oh, Jesus, my hand is absolutely like ice. I'm going to have to put you down. It's literally a cold burn on my hand. That's so cold. No, but it's not like it's during the day tomorrow. I'm not planning on doing a day session somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely a fish on the white rod. The orange rod doesn't seem to do much. Right, I'm gonna have to put you down because my hand is gonna fall off. <laughs> right, we'll be back soon, hopefully with a fish. Well, I thought I'd started coddling as the rod was absolutely thumping. We brought in two fish, but neither of them were coddling. <laughs> this bottom one's not so big. It's just normal size to be honest, but the top one looks like a cod. It's not, but <laughs> that's just a normal whiten on the bottom hook. Goes 25 centimeters. That's obviously going back. But this one is a much better fish than I thought it was a cod. Just took a Put it right down. We might have to keep it. No, it's alright. Thirty-seven centimeters. Shouldn't bad, is it? Quite a decent fish. Don't know what we're after. Hard to get it in the frame. But you see, it's a nice big chunky body. And quite a long fish. She's great. It looked like a cod, didn't it? Good old chunky thing. Right. It's still nice and lively, so I'm going to put that one back. As well as the other one. And we'll have a few more casts and see if we can get a few more. Fogwise, all I can see is two lights now, so it's getting pretty rough. You can hardly see in front of me, to be honest. <laughs> as you can probably see. Yeah, you can see my hand, but you can see all around me all the fog. It's terrible. If I actually put my light up, look at that. <laughs> right, I'm going to get this one rebated, get these two fish back, see what else we can get in the last hour. Well, it looks like what I was expecting is starting to happen. Tide going down seems to happen the same as um, North Beach, Court, and up them areas as that. When you get towards halfway down, fish get bigger. So, what have we got? 
We've got a 39 centimetre whiten. See, big old long fish. Fairly chunky as well. Good fish. Still nice and lively, so it's going back. Then we've got an even bigger one, which is awesome. I thought this was a cod. Forty-two centimetre. Forty-two centimetre. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> Big old chunky fish. Probably pound and a half, I reckon. Nice big chunky fish. I'm really happy with that. It's definitely the best fish of the night, chunky wise, and that. And looks like the bigger fish coming in. That one's nice and lively. And so is the other one, so they're going back. And we'll have a few more casts. See if I carry on like this. Well, the old dip's definitely working because I've just had a couple of casts with one rod out there on just normal lug and then the other rod with dip lug. And as you just saw, two really big white come in on the dip lug rod and the other rod just produced normal pin white. So there's definitely something in it. I'll definitely keep doing it. And I'm pretty sure it would work if there was some codling and rays and stuff like that about that. I'd probably pick out, pick out the bigger fish but they've got to be there for you to catch them in the first place, haven't they? So I'll keep trying it. I'll have to try it in some other areas where I know there's some bigger fish and see if I pull them out and catch the bigger fish instead of the smaller fish, basically. A bit like fishing boilies when you go carp fishing instead of maggots. That's doing that sort of thing. That's, that's sort of the thought behind it. But we'll see how we get on. I'm going to try it again on this cast as well and we'll see how we go from there. I actually forgot I had it with me until only an hour or so ago when I spoke to you about it basically I found it in the bottom of my bag so I got it out and I've been dipping the odd cast just to see if it makes any difference and that's definitely making a difference. So this cast I've just put out has been dipped on the right hand rod and not on the left hand rod so let's see what we get. Time's ticking away now, must be gone 10 at least, probably later. But if there's big fish around then I want to catch them. You never know, we might produce a codling or something as yet. Right, let's carry on. Had a bit of a heart attack just now, two elderly women come walking down the beach with no lights, no nothing, just wandering along. Don't know what that was all about. Going out for a walk in this weather is a bit, <laughs> a bit crazy. You can hardly see in front of you. I'm going to just about see the rods. And that's standing right in front of them. But there we go. Right, let's have a few more casts and see what happens. Well, it seems like my trial's working. This is a rod that didn't have any dip on it. These are the size of the white that's bringing in. Still catching fish. It's 26 centimeters, that one. This one is, by the way, there's three on this rod. Whee. Lively little things. They're nothing like as chunky as the other ones, are they? 25 centimeters. What's this other one? The rod was going crazy, but obviously they all bit at the same time, probably. Come through the shoulder and just grabbed it. 27 centimeters. So, they're not as big. So is that something to do with what I'm doing in my dip or is it just luck of the draw? Seem to have happened too many times to be 
just uh, the luck of uh, taking the bait basically. So it's definitely something in what I'm doing. And what I'll do is I'll make a few more of these up and I'll probably show them in the next video or the video after that. And I'll show you what they are, how I use them, and we'll go from there. Alright, just walk over right in. Two more white and 31 centimetres. Whee! <laughs> they're so lively tonight. Good though, because at least they're going back. Twenty nine centimetres. Not a bad fish. Thirty two centimetres. Quite a chunky fish, if that had been longer, that'd have been a really good fish. So again the bigger fish came on the dip baits. So it's definitely working and I'll definitely keep doing what I do. It'll have to be a case of um, keep making it basically. Keep trying it. And hopefully keep bringing out the bigger fish of wherever I'm fishing. All right, I'm gonna put these back. We're literally looking at uh, two more casts and it's probably gonna be time to bag up. It's uh, 11 o'clock now, so we're probably going to pack up by 12. Well, got quite some both rods. Sorry about the wind if it's windy. The wind's still really cold. The fog's lifting as you can see. You can see the lights all the way down the beach now. You can even see the windmill and the pier and stuff in the very far distance means the old fog's lifted. Still in the air as you can see but you can see the car park and the flats and everything again now from the top of the cliffs there. Chat next door still sitting there. Not close up where it actually looks. Uh, bait wise where nubs all gone, we've got a little handful of rag left. I've chopped up one black into three bits and put that out. Still got the whole packet of rag and a whole packet of lugger still got a fair bit of mackerel still got plenty of squid so we're sorted for another trip uh, white and wise have kept I don't know a good five or six tonight because fair field them didn't make it that's point that's throwing them back you can see they're all good sizes they're all way over the limit but might as well eat them instead of throwing them back for nothing. Right. Let's see what we're going to pull in on these rods now. We're probably on our last few casts, I would say. Unless we start pulling in loads of cod. <laughs> or a load of rays or something like that. We'll save the rest of the bait and we'll do another trip. Clearly a fish on the white rod. I've already seen the Irish set rods banging away before I even brought you over, so obviously got fish on both rods again. There you go, both rods are going. Don't seem to matter really where you cast. You can go really close in, you can go midway, you can whack it right out, you still get fish. Squid and mackerel and stuff like that don't seem to really be picking them up. But both worm baits seem to be working well. I don't know if you can see the water. Yeah. The idea you can just about see it there, can Right down there now. It's, it's a good halfway down, at least. It's still flat calm as it was when we got here. 
I don't really see any better because it's the only lamp I've got to do this at the moment. Next door stuff down the beach. Not looking forward to the old trip pulling up a hill again, but we've got to do what we've got to do. If you want to fish these places, you've got to do the walk. It's only a 10 minute walk back to the car, so that's not too much of a problem. Right, I'll put you back in the stand, keep an eye on these rods, and see if we can get a few more fish. And it's time to pack down. Well, they're still coming in every cast. What have we got this time, man? What have we got? Pouting on top hook. Decent size for a pouting, isn't it? We got. Wee. Very wiggly Mr. Whiten on the middle hook. Quite a decent fish. If it was a bit longer, it'd be quite a chunk. Let's see what he is, shall we? 31 centimeters. Not a bad fish. Quite a chunky fish. And then on the bottom hook. Crazy, isn't it? Three at a time. God, I keep jumping up my hands. <laughs> Got another pound, even bigger. Quite a nice fish, to be honest. It'll be rainbow colours. Right. So I'll get these back. Well, they're nice and lively. Let's see what's on the other rod. Probably looking at another couple of casts. And we're probably done. Right. Looks like the fog's setting in again. Can't see it appear on that again now. Car parts disappearing again. But it's just going to keep going across all night, I think. I think if I stay here all night, I could probably catch fish every cast all night, but can't stay here all night, can we? <laughs> Already been out since what? What time did we leave today? Half 12. So we nearly done 12 hours out already. Not we fished 12 hours, but we've been out 12 hours. That'll be a lot more than that by the time I get home. Anyway, let's get this rebated. See what's on the other rod. And see what else we can get before we pack up. Still plenty of people about. You can see to the right of me. Chap really there. Chap a bit further down. You can see his other light. I think there's still some people behind him as well. Still people coming up in the car park and putting their lights out to see. Blinding everyone. <laughs> nasty wind that you can probably hear on the camera, sorry about that. You can see the lights a lot better along the top here at the moment. But as you can see the pier and stuff has all disappeared again. So there's a load of fog now coming again. Can't really show you the rods. Because I'm charging the lamp again. Uh, can't get, get you to see them. But both rods have got a bite. Uh, bait wise. Probably got enough worms to do one more cast. Well, we're still getting fish. Taking slightly longer than normal, but... Wee. How many times are we going to do that tonight? <laughs> Wiggly old whiten. Nothing special, that one. 26 centimetres. And then... Middle hook. Thirty, thirty-one centimeters. So not a bad fish. Nice chunky fish. This one was a uh, way quite a bit. This one actually. So that's nice. Nice to get a few of them, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll get these two back. Probably now going to put this rod out for its last time. Do the same with the other rod. It's time to pack down, I think. Time to go home. I've got an hour and a half journey home. Got to have some food. Got to fill up all the white and the stuff when I get back. Uh, got bait to put in the freezer and stuff like that. Sort everything out when I get back. So 
so I've still got a good couple of hours plus stuff to do once I leave here. So anyway, let's have one more cast on each rod. I'll bring you one in a minute, see if we've got any fish on that. Let's see what we get on our last cast. Well, that weren't a very good last cast on that rod. I snapped up. Got all twisted around the top of the rod. Not good. That's two rigs I've done that with tonight. Obviously not paying attention well enough. Must admit I'm getting a bit of a sore back now and I'm not sort of fishing as good as I could be. So I think I'm gonna have a last cast on the other rod and it's time to pack down. Shame I lost a couple of sets of gear but that's life, part of fishing, can't worry about it. Right, so I'm gonna pack this one up, put the pen away, and I'll have another cast on the other rod once I brought it in. And I'll start packing down. Still got people to the left of me, I'll still see quite a few people down that way. No one to the right now. And plenty of fog still about. So it's gonna be a fun old drive home. But nothing to worry about. Be nice and warm once we get in the car and get the old heaters and that going. Be able to pour out a bit. Get back, have some food, have a coffee, chocolate tea or something like that. And fill up the whiten. Get them ready for a good soak in the fridge and some salt water ready to cook tomorrow. Right, I'm gonna pack this rod up, bring everyone in, see what's on it. So I just brought the other rod in. Got a teeny little whiten on there. Sort of normal size, what you normally catch. A pin or whatever you want to call it. And we've got a decent size one on the bottom hook. Cheers for flicking sand in my eyes, fish. Oh, these little hooks are brilliant, I'll tell you. Right, we'll measure this one. That's a good fish. 33 centimetres. Lovely fish. They're still coming in, they're still quite big, some of these. Just what we want. Right. Put this one back, it's still lively. I'm going to have one more cast. Well then it's time to pack down, I'm afraid. Oh, just one of that rod. This one. Kind of sick. Same. This one. This one. The bad size. Not massive, but teeny. Tomorrow. Right, we'll pack down on this rod now. We'll get from there. Okay, so session done. Trolley's all rigged up. Got a light in the front so we can see on the way back. This is where we were fishing. This is how you should leave your spot. No rubbish, no crap on the beach, no nothing. Nice and clean, just as you found it when you got there. And to be honest, I actually found a load of paper and, paper and stuff there when I got there, but I picked that up as well, and some bottles. We'll be getting rid of all that. Right, now we're going to make our way back up to the car like this, find our way up the hills, and get all this light in the car and do the journey. Off we go, not a too bad trip.
Oh, I'm back, I'm hungry. Now you breathe, I'm back, I'm hungry. Right, here we go. Yeah, quite a few. Yeah. I think I finished on 79 fish. How many? 79. Oh, I give up counting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's one pound three on the white and small rays. Oh, did it? Nice. So, I couldn't find any myself. Uh, one, one on first cast. That's about half past six time. Right. And one about half eleven. Nice. So, no, yeah. I couldn't find any. I tried, but. Yeah, I know. That's bloody hard work. Yeah. Plenty of whiting. Yeah, plenty of <laughs> Couple of nice pout, but I thought it might be a few flatties now. About but yeah, yeah, I've had some quite big ones lately. Yeah, and you, see again. going to get all the gear in the back of the car get the suit and boots and stuff off trainers back on and home we go Whew. well that's everything back in the car so we've done all right i suppose in the end that we we had what coming up for 80 fish i think if not more i think i was lost count sort of towards the end after i got in the 70s um, shame we didn't have a ray or a codlin or something like that, but we had a good go. We had some big whiting, which is nice. We seem to do quite well at catching them at the moment. I think I've got the bait dip sort of worked out pretty well to catch the bigger whiting now. So, hence why I keep getting so many of them, I think. So I'll keep that dip like that and i'll carry on experimenting with some of the others but anyway it's one o'clock now i've got to do the hour 15 drive home uh what's the temperature now now we're back in the car zero degrees so it's fairly cold <laughs> um yeah so let's get the journey sorted I'll stay in there before I drive out of here and start going. As thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. Hopefully, build your channel up and we'll get past a thousand subscriber bet. So I'm going to stop waffling, get on with the journey, and I'll see you all again in the next video. Fog. All the fog was down the beach. On 
show, Reggie.